Joomla is a free and open source content management system for your website. As you can see, ExtremeToaster.com is powered by Joomla. To get Joomla for yourself, go to Joomla.org. You want to head over to the download section, get the latest version and the full package right here. Download as a zip. Once you do that, you'll get a nice zip file. You want to extract it. You get something like this. Open it up. You'll see a bunch of files. You want to take all those files and copy them to your server. I'm using FileZilla to upload files to my server. You can use any FTP client you wish. Take these files and put them on your server. They're already here. I took care of this because it takes a while. It took 20 minutes for me to upload all these files. It's about 13 megabytes once you unzip it. All right. It's on the server. What do you do now? You go to your website. Mine. I'm going to close that because I don't want you to see it yet. Okay, now you're going to see it. JoomlaTest.ExtremeToaster.com That is where I uploaded it to. You get a web installation. It's as easy as that. All you do is upload the file and go to the files on the internet. Now you just have to go through the steps. It walks you through it. We're using English. These are required settings. It does a check. If any aren't, if any don't have a yes, you need to fix that problem before Joomla will work on your server. Down here, these are recommended. I have one that is on, and it is recommended to be off, but it's not required. Here's the license. You want to review that and hit next. And then we get to the database configuration. This part is the most difficult part of the whole process. You, It's not difficult, you just have to know how to do it. You want to go to your control panel for your website, like through GoDaddy or one and one whatever you use. You need to go to your control panel. This is a screenshot of control panels on various um, website hosting providers. This is GoDaddy. I'm not sure how up to date this is, but you want to go to the databases section, which right here, web hosting and databases. And that would take you to, I couldn't find a screenshot of it, but something like this. You want to find the MySQL section. A one in one, it's right there. MySQL section in the websites and applications. And this one, it's right here under the databases section. You're looking for databases. You go there, you need to set one up. It's easy. You just push create new database. You probably put in a description, and it'll generate the password and everything else for you. Then you need to take that password and the database name into here put it in here, just copy paste it in here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to fast forward, I'll be right back. Alright, the database setup is finished. And it goes on to FTP configuration. I'm going to skip this because it's not required and I don't use it anyway. So I'm going to hit next. Configuration, enter site name. Um, site name is going to be I'm so cool your email. I'm going to do contact at extremetoaster.com. Password. You like turtles too? Default sample data. I highly recommend this. It'll help you figure out how to use your site. It'll give you some, you know, sample data, some sample stories, some sample articles. And yeah, it's, it's just good for beginners. Next. Not now, please remember to completely remove the installation dire directory. To do that, you want to go back to our FTP client, which is disconnected.
and that means delete the installation directory, which is right here. You want to delete it off your server. And that's required also. Alright, once that's done, you can see the site. You will have the all the sample data, you know. And then to access the administrator section, what you do is go see that's your website. Add administrator to the end. Add administrator. Just like that, gives you your administrator login. The username was I am so cool. Or was it? I think it's admin all the time. And the password you like turtles too? And there you're in. This is the administrator control panel where you create new articles, add pages, you know, mess with the menu, and that's it. You're on your own from there. <laughs> no, not really. If you need help learning the control panel of Joomla, there's lots of videos online, or I could help you out. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.